What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Dillian, the body snatcher, White. Get this. White, the victim of contaminated substance, according to investigation. Dillian White is reportedly free to resume his career after it was put on hold by a positive drugs test in the buildup with his canceled fight with Anthony Joshua. Of course, the rivals were supposed to fight again after their 2015 clash at the O2 Arena. White 35 is licensed by the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation and in an investigation conducted by, according to Sky Sports, a forensic expert concluded, my expert view is that Mr. White was the victim of a contaminated supplement that did not disclose the contaminant amongst its, its ingredients and he did not ingest the contaminant intentionally. Hmm. So, White, of course, had this to say. Of course, we know he was banned from 2012 to 2014 and he still maintained he was completely innocent before, okay? At the time of his replacement at... Uh, at Joshua's opponent by Robert Alanius, who he stopped in seven rounds. And this is what he had to say. He said, first of all, I'm relieved more than anything, but of course I'm angry as well because it's cost me so much, White said to Sky Sports, of the most recent development. He said, the most important thing is it cost me the chance to beat AJ. Everything else after that is secondary, but you know, it's a mix of emotions. I'm angry. I'm disappointed as well because people in this game don't give you a chance to prove yourself. Everybody is quick to say, yeah, 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 instead of giving people a chance. It's been really tough because I knew I was innocent, but then you can't talk. You can't say it, nothing. You have to be professional. Trust the process, trust the lawyers, and trust the people around you. It's been tough, but tough times makes tough men. Okay. White also said that he intends on seeking damages from the company that manufactured the supplement. He said, I've lost a lot of money and we're seeking damages for all the money I've lost. He said, try to get some sort of redemption for my career with litigation. You can't really talk too much. Those are the words of Dillian, the body snatcher white. Okay. Uh, this was similar to 2019. And obviously, I think in, 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 um, I still believe that whatever you do, whatever you take, it, it's, it's your responsibility. But if they're not even in, 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 if these supplements people, okay, are not even revealing every possible thing in it you know, large to minute. It doesn't matter. If they're not disclosing everything within these supplements, don't fucking take them. Stop taking them. Go all natural. You know what I mean? You want to like, like if, if it's something that obviously these supplements won't make you better, they won't. Will they help you? Maybe. You know what I mean? But they won't make you a better fighter. You know, and I think if you're taking supplements you're, if you're taking PEDs or whatever you're taking, you're taking this shit for an edge. Bottom line, you're taking it for an edge. So I think it's still a mental thing with a lot of these fighters. You know, and I think what White did, White was convicted of cheating back in the day. He was. However, you know, maybe he learned like, look, I'm going to start uh, taking something else that helps me. But I think... What that's the problem. If mentally you're thinking, I have to take a supplement, I gotta take a pill, I gotta do this, I gotta do that, I gotta take these 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 things to make me better, I think they're missing the point. I think hard work and dedication is the best thing, the best possible thing. You know, because at this point, you've lost millions of dollars on this shit, on a supplement that you didn't have to really take. It would be different if he had surgery or he had a, you know, and, and they had to inject some type of steroid and within the steroid it had this. No, this is something that he willfully took because he thought it would help him. You know, and then like, like, like the snack program. If snack found out to be some kind of contaminant in snack, 
which it had, they start producing some type of minute thing and it gives all these fighters a bad name. Don't you think people would run from Snack? You know, now I do agree with Dillian White. If that's what they were doing, oh yeah, I would be suing them. Oh yeah, I would be suing them. You know, but the but but here's the thing that I'm looking for. Yeah, he's free to fight or uh, free to begin his career, but if he wants a chance to prove himself, stop taking any type of supplement, go all natural, okay? Watch, still watch what you eat. You know what I mean? Because you have insecticides, you have you have all types of small things. You know what I mean? And the question you ask yourself, what the hell did he take? What was he talking about? And he said, well, you can't talk too much, so we probably won't hear that. But the question is, has he taken it before? Has he taken this thing before? And you know what I mean? Because it, for me, me personally, if I'm fighting Anthony Joshua, maybe he thought in his mind, hey, well, maybe I need to try something new that gives me, you know, more uh, rest time or, or healing properties or more, you know, more whatever, but you know, some kind of supplement. I wouldn't really be taking that, you know, something new like that. I wouldn't be taking it. You know, it's almost like if you're a boxer or you're an athlete or whatever, especially in a full contact sport, you're going to need a chemist to test this shit before you even inject this shit, you know, because I couldn't afford to lose four or five million dollars. You know what I mean? Fighting Anthony Joshua. I couldn't afford that or whatever it is. The, he missed M's on a damn pill or some pills. That's just unacceptable. And at this point and at this point of his career, he should know like, look, man, I ain't taking that. Mm -mm, that sounds shady. That sounds fishy. I'm not even. No, I would run from any type of powder, any type of any type of thing like that. Anything that may have something in it, you know, I would say this. I wouldn't think that Dillian White would take something knowing all the shit he's already been through and to piss, all, piss away this opportunity intentionally. I don't think he would. I think it's still carelessness, but it's still shitty. You know what I mean? Because people are always going to look at Dillian White as that guy that once that was banned from 2012 to 2014 because of his cheating. And then they find out, hey, yeah, oh, well, what's going on with this uh, this substance? And then that shit in 19. So you had 2012, 2019, and you got 2023. So you have a span of a long period of time where you're allegedly involved in some type of pill ingestion or drug stuff that doesn't look good. It doesn't. So saying all that to say this, if I'm Dillian White, I wouldn't take one single supplement. I don't care what it was because there is nothing that stops that from being what it is. And in what it went in, and if it does test positive, people don't care. They just see positive. They don't care at all. But if he wants to prove himself, he could do opposite of what Jarrell Miller did, go in there and gas out. And then you're like, okay, maybe he needed the drugs all this time because he got his ass whooped by Daniel Dubois. Well, if Dillian White goes in there and smashes somebody, you know, like a Joe Joyce or a Philip Hergovic, if he can get a fight that big, you know, those type of guys, if he can go in there and take them out of their misery, you know, and, f and pass his drug test, he should be fine looking the same way. If he goes in there and looks like shit, people are going to say maybe he was. So it's all about his performance and what he does moving forward to prove himself. Okay, because he's 35. He don't have long. Okay, so, you know, he took a loss in 2022. And the next year he took a loss outside the ring in 2023. So that's what we're looking with and act with Dillian, the body snatcher white. But you guys tell me what you think of Dillian White labeled the victim of a contaminated substance according to investigation. Of course, please subscribe. You guys been counterpunch. Peace.